recycle metals, or mine them. You may have heard that the supply of metals we use in our everyday lives is declining. As our global population grows at an increasing rate, so does our demand for metals. We've looked at using advanced technology to increase mining production, but what about recycling the metals that we use? According to the United Nations University, we only recycle 20% of our electronic waste, also known as e-waste. This includes all electronic products from refrigerators to televisions, cell phones, lamps, and more. In 2016 alone, we generated 44.7 million metric tons of e-waste. To put this into perspective, that is equal in weight to almost nine Great Pyramids of Giza, or 4,500 Eiffel Towers. As for the economic value, a conservative estimate of the recoverable material of the e-waste generated in 2016 is 55 billion US dollars. E-waste recycling was cited to be cheaper than conventional mining as well. On top of that, e-waste mining is more sustainable as there is much less disturbance to the environment and requires far less energy consumption. By now, you are probably wondering, why don't we just get all our metals from e-waste? Unfortunately, there are many reasons why this is not achievable. First of all, removing the non-metal parts from e-waste is a difficult process. Take, for example, a printer. The non-metal components need to be removed before the metal parts can be melted in a furnace. A second reason is dissipation or deterioration in metal quality over time. Recycled steel is good enough to create steel bars, but the purity of recycled steel is not good enough to create sheet products. Lastly, our growth in demand for metals vastly outpaces what e-waste recycling can provide. Remember the 44.7 million tons of e-waste generated in 2016? That number is expected to increase by 17% to 52.2 million tons. Unless a perfect recycling process and zero population growth are achieved simultaneously, we will need to continue relying on traditional mining to satisfy our demand for metals. If you are interested in learning more about the role of mining in our society, be sure to subscribe to our channel for future videos. Sponsored by Komatsu.